Okay, another fast speed Arabia game. Let's do this. And wow, this is a classic matchup. So welcome everybody to the stream. Make sure to throw me a salute if you're just getting here. Uh, I'll catch up with chat where I can. They're playing fast speed 1v1s now. We have Mayans for Vivi, who just lost last game to Heron, a very close game. And then we have... Um, wait, did I say Mayans for Hera? This is this is Vivi. I forget what I said. Mayans for Vivi. And then Britons for, for Hera. Uh, both good archer civilizations, but what makes this interesting is that the Mezzo civilization can insert eagles into the mix. And with the eagles, it's, that's a great anti-archer move. So... Uh, in terms of gameplay here, I do feel like mines will be a little bit better. Britons will probably need to snowball with the rage. <laughs> oh my god. Vivi just tried something which would have been insane. Vivi just tried to not only boar steal in fast speed, he tried to double boar steal. He hit both of these boars. I don't think a double boar steal is actually possible now that boars do more damage to the scouts. But T90 wrecked. Oh my god. Uh, that's hilarious. And Hera is confused. He said, you lost a Vil. Uh, that was his scout, man. <laughs> only Vivi. Only the Fat Dragon will do that, honestly. Uh, that's that's ridiculous. Uh, let's see here. Hey, what's up, Pete? Hey, Tringa. Uh, Balky? Lynx? Lord? Welcome, guys. Man, that was, that was ridiculous. I mean, oh, Hera's going to lose a Vil now. It's so fast. If you look away for even a half a second, you, you'll lose something. So both players with a messy start. Um, Hera has his main gold and stone forward. Also has his other resources out here. Definitely a map that could be an issue for, for Hera if he doesn't lock down those resources. Vivi is going to lame this boar now. Freaking Vivi, man. He walls in his villager, and now he's laming the boar. Now, if Hera gets lucky, he can shoot this, and the boar will, will go after his vill. Let's see if he gets lucky. Attack it. No, no, no. Keep attacking it, man. Oh! Oh! <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Oh, that's so epic. That's so epic. The boar's still alive as well. Now, if he hits us one more time, it dies. Oh, that was so sick from Hera to recognize that. Oh, my God. That was amazing. This is a funny start to a game. No, Hera. Okay, whatever. He, at least he gets the boar. He should have realized it was on solo low HP. Vivi with an absolute throw. Can we get the T90 throws in the chat? Throwing away his eagle and that villager. But that's just legendary from Hera there. That's ridiculous. I bet you he's laughing. I would be laughing as well. Oh, man. Well, anyway, like I said, the resources are all forward for Hera. We'll see how he chooses to lock that down. Vivi. You know, losing the villain, the eagle might not play out as it would in normal speed I think he'll be okay it's fine chat uh, four on wood for him and main gold here has a gold in the back a stone here you know what he's down sheep that's what happens when you send your eagle forward he might not be able to up the feudal because he's down the sheep and the boar was late he's looking for the sheep he's just missed out on it look at that Oh, God. And now he's going to full wall. Oh, God. Yeah, this is what the T90 wall emote was made for. Oh, goodness. And Hera sees the walls there. He sees the house wall here. He's He's got to know. And he... Uh, what will he go with, Hera? Probably into just skirms, I think. And he'll gladly steal these sheep. This is a funny game. Two of the best in the world, but making mistakes. Making it different for us. Vivi... You know what? If he goes right into Eagles, he could counter the Skirms. Uh, needs to wall this off yet. I mean, this is an audacious... Well, this is crazy. This is a bold wall here. But he's, he's almost full walled. I don't know what he'll go for. Hera is going into skirms, which is quite common for Britons. The reason you go into skirms and not archers is because 
if both players are going for ranged units and one chooses skirms they just kill the archers vivi he doesn't want to lose out on his gold units or uh hera rather Ready. but he'll transition to archers later on so if someone walls like this, the correct response is to put pressure on them and tower them, and that's exactly what we'll see from Hera. Uh, Vivi... Just sending one vil to gold. Look at all the walls out here. He's so scared. Look at this. Hera's got to be thinking, what on earth is happening this game? Jeez. Here comes the tower, something that Vivi can see, but he can't address because he's still in Dark Age. I wouldn't call these walls greedy, I'd call these walls panic. And Hera will lose his scout, but uh... Let's see what Vivi goes for here, he should probably... Go to stone... Yeah, he's on stone. So he builds his own tower. Slappy, slappy stuff. Uh, loses a bill. Could lose two? No. Just one. And already, I feel like Hera has done more than enough to delay his opponent. His economy should be much better, despite having four villagers forward. Vivi's had a ton of idle time. The only bad thing here is that Vivi is now on stone. And in this matchup, Mayan's getting the plumed archers. That can be the deciding factor at times, so... Uh, Hera repairing this tower as he builds this one. And he always oh, going to attack this. And oh man, is this messy. He's going to try and repair this and attack with his vills. We could see a lot of dead vills here. I don't know how this will go. I think Hera will lose one. Yep, he loses one. I think he overcommitted here, Hera. I don't think he needed to do this. Like, he's pretty far ahead already, I'd say. Uh, Vivi going to... I mean, this guy's weak. Will he die? Hera does not see him. But oh my goodness, another tower now going up for Hera. So sloppy this game. Hera needs to get out of here with his vills. I think he needs to run. He needs to run before Vivi just uses his own vills to, to do this. Actually, you know what? Hera might be in range. Oh, Hera is in range of the villagers that were attacking him. That was perfectly placed. It's so tough to tell. Woo, man. You know, one thing I'll say is, YouTube, you're not going to have to fast forward the video anymore. I know a lot of people do uh, my videos on two times speed. So they can, you know, get back to work or school or whatever. But hey, man. This is quite a fast game. And now Vivi's building a tower. Oh, God. And Harris trying to build this one. He has two weak villagers. Uh, he needs to commit all of his vills to building this, man. All of his vills need to build this or he'll be denied. It's at 87%. He loses one. He loses both of them. So three villagers down. What a game here. And now Harris going to try and commit to finish it, but he can't. And he loses another villager. Oh, my goodness. Now on the bright side for Hera, he's he's untouched at home, but he's now four villagers behind. Vivi adding a barracks. And will we see the eagles from him? We'll see. Vivi has 13 kills and four losses. I think Hera, again, was just a bit too ambitious. He was already delaying Vivi enough. I don't think he needed to commit like that. But it's certainly still winnable for him. We'll probably see both players build a market at some point to balance their eco, but saying that Hera's eco seems perfectly balanced at home. And you know what? He finished his tower. So, I mean, I don't know what it does. Oh, it kills a fill on the farm! Are you kidding me? Oh, this is crazy. So, it did something. And now Vivi almost losing that fill. Woo, this is sloppy stuff. Uh, it looks like Vivi will go into Eagles. This this villager will now die, I think. Can she make it? Go, woman. You have two towers firing at you. No, don't even try it, Hera. It's so fast, you can't even afford to micro, so just let her die, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not sure why Hera wanted to build that one tower here. Uh, I believe he, he felt like he was going to kill Vivi's tower. He, he was building initially to stop this one, I guess. But uh, anyway, he's on his way to Castle now. And Vivi, using the market. And he's going to be on the way to Castle. So how impressive is this? So many moving parts. And both players on the way to the next stage. Oh, speaking of castle, I think Hera will try and build a castle forward. Look at his uh, his stone count. 530 stone for him. A knight or two will help out with the eagles. I like that switch. He does need to overinvest into it. And I really don't think that Vivi can stop that castle. He can maybe kill a vill here. Uh, nope. I don't think he can stop the castle. I mean, he could try and tower, but he just loses his units to the knights that will come in from Hera. When I cast guys, I toggle between all the players constantly. Just for my own benefit. So you can see the resources now for Hera. He's building the castle, and here's the resources for Vivi. And Vivi's going to try and tower this. But... With more vills coming forward from Hera, I don't think that's going to be enough. Okay, he sends in the eagles. If he can delay this enough, he can build another tower, and then he can deny the castle. The knights haven't arrived yet. Okay, here they come now for Hera. Hera has a ton of weak vills, but he now has knights here, and Vivi, he'll lose villagers. Also, the towers are distracted. They're not attacking the villagers. They're attacking the uh, units here. A Hera YOLOing it. He'll build the castle. He'll kill these towers then. And nice aggressive game we have here. The Vivi with more villagers, but he's gone into Eagle Warriors, which died tonight. And he, of course, cannot run into that castle. On the plus side for Vivi, he does have wood back here he can run to. But the mobility of the knight's going to find that soon, I think. And it's looking very good for Hera at the moment. Good map control. He can pick off tons of vills. He just needs to pay attention to this. There we go. He sees the vills on gold. Can go to the wood now if he doesn't want to stay underneath the tower. This is this is good stuff. I don't even think he should go for uh, longbows. Seeing as there are eagles out. I think he should just boom up. Add TCs at home. And get ready to address the, the, uh, the eagles. Yep, that's what he's doing. So he's building his second town center. And his third town center. Vivi has more vills, but Vivi's also had a lot more idle time. But he's building a second TC. Now Hera could build another castle forward. He's heavily on stone. But that'll still take some time. He needs to make sure he does not get counterattacked. And I love how he's using his mobility and his fast speed. Getting husbandry on the knights. Also has plus two defense and plus one attack. Um, Vivi saving his... Oh, there's a hole. No, Vivi saving his vills there, but he's losing vills on the gold. And he's losing vills on the wood. This is so good from Hera. Like, there's so much I want to say about this, but it's happening so fast I can't say it all. But basically, you notice how Hera is never committing... And to one single fight. He'll hit and he'll run. This is how you need to play Age of Empires with horse units. It's so important to use your mobility. I feel like at lower levels, people always make the mistake of massing units, taking one fight, and letting that be it. But no, Hera, not even losing those knights. He's now two vills behind, and he's about to build a second castle. And if he builds it here, I don't think Vivi can do anything about this. The option is forward or the option is defensive if he thinks Vivi is going to counterattack. Guys, how am I doing with the fast casting here? I'm doing my very best. I, ho I hope it's okay. It's so different to, to have to talk about so much, but in faster speed. Hera coming forward now to build a castle. Now, how aggressive will he place this? I think he should just place it here. He doesn't want the tower to be in range of his villagers, I guess, so he'll, he'll try and open up space for it. And yeah, there we go. He builds it there. More villagers getting picked off. A conversion for Vivi, maybe two conversions for Vivi. He should get two. But that's still not enough. Hera with the quick walls. Hera will build this castle. The monks, they better be better go back to church. Because they'll get picked off. And all of these vills for Vivi will be ranged. But Vivi counterattacks with the Eagle Warriors. 
So that's why I said a defensive castle might be in order. So both players losing villagers. Hera with his second castle. Though. And oh god! Look at all the bills he lost on the castle with the towers. Vivi takes the score lead again. Now that might soon change because both castles are up now. And it'll kill a lot. And also Hera will kill the eagles. And yes, it does change. But wow, what a game here. I I love fast speed Age of Empires so much. It's so cool. I mean, there's there's going to be more mistakes. You can't be perfect with this. I think it also promotes aggression. It, it definitely promotes aggression more than normal speed. You notice how no player is... Well, I guess Vivi's full walled, but it hasn't really done much for him. There will be idle time. Vivi building a castle here to stop Hera from pushing in once more with more castles. This... This is a game that Vivi can still win. It's 71 population for both. And, uh, you know, the issue for Hera will be he is using knights as his military force right now. That's not something you want to go with for a very long time with Britons. But despite that, he kills more villagers here. Uh, what? Vivi is unlucky. I don't know how Vivi didn't get a conversion there. There we go. It's probably going to be champion late game for Hera. We're not close to the Imperial Age for both players, though. Hera doing a great job at, at picking off Vils. Plumed Archers now for Vivi. This is fantastic. T90 official makes... T90 official mistakes makes this way more enjoyable to watch. Hey, man, are you saying that my mistakes make this more enjoyable or their mistakes? <laughs> Be careful with how you word that, Jaffe. You know, whoever hits Imp might be important because uh, Trebs from these castles will be big. It's it's rough now because Vivi's distracting Hera. Oh my god, there's quick walls. You're kidding, right? You're, you're No, no! How can they do all of that? I mean, is it even worth the idle time? Oh my god. Um, but what I was saying is... You know, Hera's being distracted. And he can't stay and attack these rams for very long because the castle fire from Vivi. But he's done the right thing here, just placing a Magnell behind. And luckily, that is not in range. I told you that Hera's a fast player, guys, and this is an example of it. I don't know what he'll go for, though. Longbow is certainly not the move. Defensive castle, perfect. Um, I mean, he could actually go Cavalier. He's getting closer to the Imperial Age. Vivi, I believe, is trying to click up, though. Vivi should beat him there. And let's see. These players are almost half as fast as <laughs> StarCraft II players. Well, um... I know that StarCraft pros are incredibly fast, but the thing is with Age of Empires 2, it's not so much about speed as, as game knowledge as well and, and game sense. I would love to see StarCraft players play Age of Empires because I believe it'd take them a solid year to actually be able to be in the top 100 because it's so it's not about speed as much as uh, like game knowledge. StarCraft doesn't have as much uh, variety with the economies and the builds in my opinion but it's certainly impressive from a gameplay standpoint let's see plume archers moving in vivi's going to hit imp well before hera this game the plume archers they're a mobile archer so just like hera was using his mobility with his knights earlier vivi will now do that with his plumes and uh he got good value here hera will have to delete his walls so he can fully surround these units and i think uh, Harris should clean that up. But he'll lose his castles. And I do think Mayans much, are much better than Britons. In this situation, certainly. Hera invested a lot of resources into forward buildings that will now be taken out. Uh, we'll see if he can keep them up. Last game, of course, we saw a treble. We might see the same thing this time around. But what's the transition going to be for Hera? Every 14 days I dream about games like this, with towers and castle drops. It's my fourth night. I almost feel like the mobility of knights is, is why Hera will stick with them. You know what I mean? Like, going into champions just slows him down, and he's using his speed wonderfully right now. And tracking these plumed archers again. 
Needs to get more knights over here. TCing this gold. Uh, might not even get that up, actually. Here's the trebuchet from Vivi. This is something he needs to be very careful with. Because there's a lot of knights in here for Hera. So the question is now, does Hera try and repair? Does he repair -a the castle? Or does he just commit and go after the treb? He needs res for trebuchets. He needs res for cavalier. He's gone for the cavalier upgrades first. 36 military versus 20. And here come the knights. This is before upgrades, but he should kill the trebs. This is wonderful from Hera. He kills one treb. He should kill two. These are now elite eagle warriors, so it'll be more difficult for him to kill them. But he kills the trebs, which at least gives him time, and then he runs away. The problem still remains, though. Vivi has the better transition here. He, he traps in those knights. He has so many eagles already. Britain Cavalier, they're not the best. But Cavalier is still Cavalier. Vivi kills that castle, one left for Hera, and Hera can't really even afford to go trebs, I guess, because, well, there's eagles out here. But now he's thinking about it because of the cavalier numbers. He has to get these upgrades quickly. Now, this is the time to fight it, I think, if you're Hera. You have to fight this now. It gives your own trebuchet time. You can kill the trebs from Vivi. Oh, Vivi's in trouble. Vivi is in trouble. These eagles, not enough of them, not enough upgrades. Bryn Cavalier. Killing the Eagles, it is 140 population to 80 population, and Hera wins the game. That is two games in a row. Guys, I swear to you, if, if we were playing on normal speed, Vivi would probably spank Hera. But Hera is such a fast player. Uh, there are a lot of players like this now who struggle with the new meta because the new meta is so slow and normal speed is much slower. Um, like Slam, it's funny, a lot of the Canadians actually. Slam and Hera, I think, would excel in fast speed, and I love watching it. Um, Really glad they're doing this. I hope we see some more fast speed games. You know, I guess the downside is the games, they, they end fast, but if you get to see all the different game elements anyway, it's it's not a bad thing. How old is Hera? Um, I think spanking him might be child abuse. He's 18 now. Um, he was top of the Voobly ladder at 15, though, three years ago when I joined. So he's pretty young. I'm happy for the guy. I'm happy for the guy. Why are the players playing on fast speed? They're having fun, man. They're having fun. There's the KD for you. Aggression, aggression, aggression. It is amazing just how similar the players are, though, and how close the games are, despite the fast speed. You would think there would be even more mistakes.